Hey everyone, in this lesson we will talk about the, the block and explode commands inside the AutoCAD program. So block is simply a very important feature that we will use a lot in uh, electrical drawings. So what does this even mean? Let's say you have a power outlet, power outlet for a heater. So for example, it will be like this. We have a rectangle, REC enter like this. We have this shape like this and we will hatch it. So I will say H enter like this and make it like this, select enter, but I will make it color, let's say, um, okay, let's make it uh, blue or yellow, for example, red, 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 okay, red and make its own thickness. Let's say it is um, two and enter like this or Let's make it 20, okay, and close hatch creation like this. So we have this simple, which is hatched like this, okay, with a certain color. This all we can, let's say, double click again, and let's make it, um, let's make it white, okay, and then skip like this. So we have this hatchet uh, shape like this, and I would like to add a more like this, a line at this point, um, as in F8 for also like this. Okay, and like this F8, cancel it like this. Okay, and then escape. So we have this shape, let's say this shape represents a a power outlet for an electric heater, okay? Power outlet that we add inside our electrical drawing, okay? Now, what I would like to do is that I would like to use this block inside a drawing. I can use it several times. So instead of just clicking like this and copying it, we would like to form it or make it one block. You can see we have, if you click here, we have a block for line, a block for this, a block for hatching and the block of the uh, rectangle itself okay so we have different blocks i would like to connect all of them together into one block so in order to do this we will use the block function so we will say p which is a block and enter like this okay the block definition so let's say cancel first let's select like this and p for a block like this Okay, enter. Okay, so we select the object and would like to form a block. So let's say it is electric heater, EH, which is electric heater um, outlet. Okay, EHO, electric heater outlet. Okay, then you can click on OK or just select a big point. Big point is a point at which I use to move this object. So let's say big point. Uh, let's say for example here add the middle okay and then click on okay so what will happen is that we have now one block so if you click on it like this anywhere you will have one block so you can see if you click here you can move it as you would like so move it like this click here and drag to move so we have one block that we can control and move anywhere we would like to do okay now let's say I would like to copy, okay, this block and you'll understand why right now. So which one? I would like to copy this and enter, specify base point, I'll select this point and copy it here and here and here and here. Lots, lots of locations inside a large electrical drawing, okay, like this. So what's the benefit or what is another benefit of the block? Someone will say me, hey, we can just copy each of these um, together in every location. However, the block feature helps you is that helps you to edit all of these separate blocks in one move. So let's say you would like to change this block. And when you're changing this block, everything inside this drawing will change. That is the biggest advantage of using the block. So what I mean by this, if I would like to edit this block for any reason, 
So let's say I would like to edit it. So I will double click on it like this. It will say edit block definition and then click on OK. You will be switched to a different view of AutoCAD program. So what is this view? This view is used to edit block editor. This view is blocked. You can see there is nothing else except this block. So let's say I would like to change it. I will click on the hatching, for example, like this and make the color or change the hatching pattern. Let's change it as we would like. Go down here. Okay. Um, and go up, up, um, any one of these. Okay. So I will select four installations that say um, this one. Okay. This one. And we can change its size. Let's say uh, one and enter. Let's see for now. Okay. Uh, close hatch editor. Okay, so the hatching is very small. Okay, so let's double click again like this and make it 300 like this. Okay, so the hatching now appears like this and skip. So we have a new hatching. Okay, let's say I would like to change its color to um, its color to anyone. Let's say um, make it blue, for example. Okay like this okay and let's make it like this okay um, and close hatch it so we edited this one okay it is weird i know it's weird but anyway we edited it okay now we would like to um let's say i would like to have I have edited this block and I would like to save it. So I will close a block editor like this and save changes to EHO electric heater um, outlet like this. So what you see that when we change this block, every block inside the drawing itself was changed to another one. So the benefit of the block is that we can change one outlet or edit one uh, block and it will edit every other block. This is also helpful if you have a luminaire that you used in one room, and this luminaire you copied it and used it in lots of rooms inside the same building. So by changing one or editing one inside the block, you will be able to change everything inside the building. Now let's say for example, if you would like to um, separate these blocks from each other, we will use the explode uh, command in order to separate these um, elements from each other. So if I would like to separate, just click on it and explode like this. Explode, you can see explode and click. So what will happen? You can see the line alone, this line alone, and this one alone. However, if you look carefully here, double click here, like this, and change it into any color. Let's make this one none uh, or white. Okay, this one to blue like this. Okay, close it like this and skip. You can see this one. Okay, you can see if you zoom in, it it will appear the white and the blue. Okay. However, since the scale is very large, it doesn't appear here. Okay, it appears at a white. However, it is blue and white. So anyway, you can see when we edit this one, all of the other blocks are the same because they are related to one block. However, this one is exploded, so it is separate from them. So explode here can help us to take this, take this one, put it out here, take this one and move it like this, take this one and stretch it like this. Okay, you can see all of the other blocks doesn't uh, care about it. Okay, so that is how you can use explode and block commands in AutoCAD uh, program.